Hey, what's up you guys? It's your friendly neighbor Team Kits here. I'm doing another Saber video. Uh, again, with the uh, Saber Forge Redeemer. Now, this was the Mark 1, as you can see. It's still got the custom drilling there. I also took off the cover tech knob here, just for to keep in my parts drawer in case I do another Saber project. Um, which I am doing soon. I'm doing a Spark Color 2 RGBW Graflex uh, whenever the hilt comes in the mail. And uh, that should be relatively soon, hopefully. Uh, now let's uh, get rid of that, get rid of the Mark One, and introducing the Redeemer Mark Two. Um, I'll turn this hilt, and you'll see there's no custom drilling. Woohoo! I finally figured that out. Um, yeah, it's all underneath the clamp card, the kill key, recharge port, and the switches. Um, the clamp card I rigged up with a Velcro kind of thing because the switches are actually keeping the card raised surprisingly so we're gonna fire this bad boy up and I'm gonna push the uh, velcro down on it just to keep it sturdy so um, I did some more sound, sound font messing around and I uh, discovered that I could uh, reconfigure the Plector Labs sound fonts uh, to work with a Niagons board and um, it's basically just a name change, really. All you have to do is go into the WAV files and just change the name to BLST01 and so on and so forth until you're finished with it. And make sure you put them in the right file folders and name them correctly. So, um, I will. We well, already know the master, so we'll move on to one that I reconfigured. The, this is the weapon of the Jedi Knight. So, this is uh, the Obi Wan Kenobi uh, Episode 4 sound font. And I rigged it up to have a, a light blue, kind of, so. And you can hear those blaster fonts from episode 4. Uh, and I did mess with the LEDs too, so. The Force Awakens, Graflex. This is from Lord Blasco, and I rigged it to do a medium blue, so let's see it. Oh yeah, that's nice. Camera, it's real medium blue. It's hard to tell the difference in person, but on camera it looks really good. I'm looking at the camera on my end, so I can see it. And we got uh, Form 4, Taru, Vader. And I did a Plo Koon font just to test it out. And we're doing a nice little um, kind of amber there. Kind of like an orangey amber, I want to say. So, I'm gonna set it to the mask. This is the weapon. The force awakens. Set it to that. Mark We're gonna put a blade in it, and I want to see how it looks with a blade on it. Not bad, not bad. I, I will say it's not too too bad. Let me shut off my desk lamp here to kind of. That's not too bad for a medium blue. Um, it's uh. Let's cycle it back to Obi-Wan, Episode 4. So this is the light blue. Uh, let's see if it changes much. Uh, it doesn't change too much. It definitely gets a little bit dimmer on my end. I don't know about you guys, but... No, it's just a little bit of color tampering. So, grab the switch. I am very proud of this saber and how I've progressed with it. And, um, it's a good saber to have. I really like the saber. I'm just cleaning off the blade. It looks kind of dingy and caca. Looks very caca. Uh, but yeah. So, that's the newest saber I have in my collection. Um, I will be working on the RGBW version for the Graflex of Episode 3, Revenge of the Sith, since this is a kind of stylized to Episode 3, but you know, we'll see how that turns out. And uh, a lot of my friends are going to want me to do custom Saber commissions, so uh, after all of those, I will consider starting up a Facebook page to do Saber commissions for anyone who messaged me. <coughs> and uh, everything will be laid out on the page and stuff like that, so... 
Now, all in good time, and I will post videos of my friend's sabers, uh, granted that they give me permission to do so. So, yeah, until then, I will see you guys next time.